Hey everybody, what's up? My name is Doug and I would like to talk to you today about another new collection of baseball caps from New Era. And this time I'm not quite as excited about bringing you this collection. It is very disappointing this year for me and it's of course the spring training batting practice offer of the 5950. Uh, for 2020. Um, I'm even a little bit behind in getting this video out. These have been out for a couple of weeks as I record this and I've just been so uninspired by this collection that um, it's really taken me this long. I almost didn't even make a video about it except to say that um, man this really is not a good collection. So again very high prices and this one isn't even as good as the Clubhouse Collection, which was released a couple weeks prior to Spring Training Caps, um, which I thought was a much better design collection. And this is so disappointing, and uh, let's get into it. First off, the thing that you noticed is they're taking uh, two primary elements of the logo, using one as a silhouette or an outline, and using the other as kind of the read-through. So it's kind of like, if you're playing around with this on Photoshop or Illustrator, it's kind of like an exercise like that. Um, but uh, as an example, you uh, see the silhouette of the white elephant that's familiar to us from the um, Oakland A's logo and then within that you see the script Oakland that often appears on jerseys and other materials um, and you can basically see the O, A, and K through the silhouette of the elephant. So that's very typical of what was done with this collection and I'd say only in a few limited number of cases does this work at all. I think there's uh, equally a high number of really disastrous cases of this logo collision that they've created. And um, I've got to imagine that when you see this on players on the field, all the detail is lost, um, but for a few caps, and they just seem like they're poorly conceived and poorly executed. I'll point out a couple more uh, caps that I think are salvageable, that made a decent design, and then maybe we'll take a look at a couple of sets of caps where I think it's just completely all wrong and there's no hope of salvaging a good design from these. All right, right out of the gate here, we've got the Rangers and Blue Jays, and these are actually two of the few caps that I think work pretty well from this design approach. Um, you've got the large format T, sort of screening out the uh, Texas flag outline there on the side of the cap. And with the Blue Jays, which I think is probably the best single cap design in this collection, I think that's kind of a natural combination of both the Maple Leaf and the Blue Jay uh, combined into kind of a new uh, look that I think works very well. When you come to the Diamondbacks and Tigers, I think these also work pretty well. Um, with the A, that's large enough to kind of let through the Snakehead logo and you get the impression of what's going on back there. And then uh, the Tigers simply opted for a combination of the navy and orange Tiger stripes within the outlines of the uh, Old English D, and I think that works pretty well as a minimal cap, which the Tigers usually are. When you come to the Yankees and Dodgers here, I think this is a perfect example of what goes wrong with this collection. Um, you've got these uh, incredibly iconic baseball caps, um, biggest sellers in any year, and you've got iconic logos there on the sides here that have been developed historically, and then you put those in the format of the letters and you're really just strangling out the details of those uh, two great logos in these iconic letter forms on the front of the cap. So this to me is a terrible failure. You really can't see the detail. You can't pick up anything that make these um, elements great and uh, it's just too much for me. And um, this is unfortunately representative of a lot of this collection. So maybe one of the funniest things that I saw about this was uh, somebody had a tagline coming soon to a clearance bin near you, the 2020 spring training caps. I'm not going to buy any single one of these. There's nothing compelling in this collection for me, even on the caps that I think do a decent job. So I would recommend the same thing is that, you know, if you have any kind of taste that uh, they didn't quite deliver for your team, I'd say stay away from this collection and uh, don't promote mediocrity. Um, again, these are over $40. I'd say the whole collection is not worth it. And uh, this is one of the first times I've had to be so harsh, but uh, this is just 
it's a waste of time and um, I'm really uh, disappointed that I was eagerly anticipating this and this is what comes out to reward us. There was a late entry from Hat Club which makes a lot of custom 5950s. They made their own spring training uh, line of caps as you can see here and unfortunately for me personally these are kind of a miss as well. You kind of get a lot of heavy reliance on the two two front panels being a different color than the other so almost all of these are a two-tone application and then when you get to the standpoint of the side patches that have been added um, a lot of these are not complementary because they're using the actual uh, league uh, logos and with Arizona that's teal and as you can see here on this brewer's cap it does not work very well with the blue and yellow color scheme and in fact a lot of these combinations don't work very well so unfortunately, um, good try for Hat Club to try and go off on their own and do something to supplement this. But for me, this is also a miss and a disappointment. Anyways, uh, that's about it. Kind of got that off my chest. Um, thanks for watching and uh, we'll see you next time, hopefully with better cap news.